Alright, in this video I want to talk about finding the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts of an equation. So, um, a graph may or may not have any x-intercepts. It may or may not have any y-intercepts. If it's going to be a function, technically we should say there's just a y-intercept. Okay. The basic idea, to find the y-intercept, what we do is we just plug in x equals 0 and then solve for y. This is usually pretty easy, I think. It's just arithmetic. The second part's a little harder. If you want to find the x-intercepts, we then plug in y equals 0 and solve for x. And this usually you know, provides some sort of equation that you have to work with. So let's do two examples here real, real quick. Um, suppose we want to know what are the x and y intercepts of the function y equals 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 3. And then in our other example down here, we'll have y equals x squared minus 3x minus 18. So to find the y intercept, again, we just plug in x equals 0. And if we plug in x equals 0, we'll get y equals 2 times, well, 0 minus 1 would leave us with negative 1. 0 plus 2 would leave us with positive 2. 0 minus 3 would leave us with negative 3. So let's see, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. So it says the y-intercept is at positive 12. And we could also simply conclude that the point 0, 12 is on the graph. OK, so not too bad. So to find the x-intercepts, do it down here. Well, now we substitute in y equals 0. And if we plug in y equals 0 in our equation, we'll have 0 on the left. We have 2 on the right times x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 3. The good thing is, is that all of uh, the right side is factored. Okay, so we've got 2 times some number times some number times some number. If we're going to get 0 on the right, what would have to be true is either x minus 1 would have to equal 0, or x plus 2 would have to equal 0, or x minus 3 would have to equal 0. Well, if I solve the first equation, I can add 1 and get x equals 1. The second equation, I'll get x equals negative 2. And for the third equation, I'll get x equals 3. So it actually says this original function has the three x-intercepts at 1, negative 2, and 3. Or we could write them as points as 1, 0, negative 2, 0, and 3, 0. So um, this other problem, y equals x squared minus 3x minus 18, I'll do that in another video. Same idea. Um, we're going to have to do a little extra step of factoring, though.